We're gonna be staying in an old World War II train car. Oh, cool! Ooh, ooh, it opens really easily. Look what our neighboring campsite had that we didn't see last night. That worked fast. road trip and I'm about to open the envelope that tells us where we're going on day seven which is today and I have a hunch that we're staying in a really cool place tonight so you guys are not gonna wanna miss it enjoy your day do anything you want but be packed up and on the road by 11 a.m. after that all it says is drive four hours and 26 minutes and check in at 3 p.m. Maryville Tennessee here we come outside of Knoxville, Tennessee and about 10 minutes away from our next Airbnb. I have no idea where we're going, but Thomas is actually in on this one. Him and Samantha helped pick out this Airbnb and it sounds like it's gonna be pretty epic. What do you think it's gonna be, Ruth? Well, I think my guesses were treehouse of some sort. Okay. Spaceship, like a boat maybe. Okay. So we're getting really close and I think I'm gonna blindfold myself here so that <laughs> I can have the grand reveal in That's a few right. minutes. We're gonna have a grand reveal, so stay tuned. Six minutes away. <laughs> Five minutes now. Okay, I'm masking myself. We're pretty close, so All right. from here on out, you I have can't no see idea anything. Where we're going. This feels so dumb. <laughs> We're gonna do the grand reveal. Stand right here. And take the mask off. Oh my god. We're gonna be staying in an old World War II train car. Oh, cool! And puppies! And puppies. Cute. How cool is that? Wow, look, there's more coming. <laughs> Hello, pup. They're beautiful. They're all gorgeous. Wow, they're gorgeous and so friendly.
Just a couple minutes after we arrived, we were greeted by one of the owners who gave us a little history about this incredible Airbnb. Located in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains, this 1940s train car served as a kitchen for American troops during World War II. Purchased in 2005 from military surplus, it cost over $33,000 to rail the car up from Florida, rent a semi to carry it to the property, and crane it onto these tracks. After eight intense months of remodeling, it has served as an Airbnb since January of 2018 and has been featured in Home and Garden, Maxim, The Today Show, and many more. We just got a really neat explanation of the history of this place, got all our questions answered, and now we get to see the inside. This train car sits on six acres of property that's really beautiful. There's like bamboo fields, lots of puppies. It's really beautiful and I can't wait to see What's inside? I don't even know how to open the door. <laughs> Let us in. Ooh. Ooh, it opens really easily. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> this is gorgeous. And it's air conditioned. So much to look at. So when you first walk in, you're greeted by the bedroom. It's all open so you can see the kitchen and the living room from here. Let's see how it feels. Ooh, that's really nice. I think it's memory foam. <laughs> it's actually a Murphy bed so you can fold it up into the wall if you need more room. But they've done it so beautifully with all the trendy covers. And then also, love this feature. You can take this down and have yourself a little breakfast in bed. So that folds right up into here. And then you have your dresser drawer over here. And I love all the decorations they put in here. Even a vintage kaleidoscope, which is really cool. Moving on into the living room. There is a really comfy couch where I'm guessing we will be relaxing for most of the evening. <laughs> There's also a guest book and it's branded with the name of this Airbnb, which is Platform 1346. It's kind of a funny story. They were trying to run electricity out to here, but in order to do that, they had to have a physical address for the train car. So its street address is 1346, hence the name Platform 1346. Also, they have a nice TV, which is apparently stocked with every streaming service you can imagine. And now for the piece de resistance of the train car, the beautiful kitchen. Filled with many architectural details, like these decorative steel beams, the industrial light fixtures, these beautiful wooden countertops, which are actually perfectly level, which is very impressive because the floor is at a slant. So their carpenter had to do some tricky math equations to get that figured out. But there's also this lovely bar top where you can have breakfast, enjoy your coffee, look out on the estate and the six puppies that are probably running around out there. And then everything you need to cook a meal, Keurig, of course, and a nice touch that they left for me since it's my birthday. Upper one. A bottle of Prosecco, which we will be enjoying this evening. And I love the floors because they're original and they actually left some of the discoloration. You can see how it changes colors here and here. It just gives it so much character and adds to the ambiance of the whole place. The entire space in here is actually 500 square feet, which is bigger than a typical tiny house and also allows them to have a big, beautiful 
bathroom like this one. <laughs> so if you come on in, there is a clawfoot tub and it does have a regular shower head. There's some button we need to figure out how to press for that to work. Stocked with shampoo and conditioner and body wash. They also have photos of them craning in this train car onto the 70 feet of railroad track that they built here. Everything in here is updated, appliances are new, marble countertops, it has a really nice feel. Once you come out of the bathroom and head towards the back of the train car, there's just a linen closet back here with some extra pillows, blankets, and the back door, which I'm not sure if we can open or not. Yes, you can. And this door goes right out onto the back deck. Lovely. And there you have it, our full tour of the World War II train car Airbnb in Maryville, Tennessee. Now that we've shown you the place, it's time to enjoy it. Starting with a burger dinner, compliments of Chef Tomas. Hello, hello. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look, it's even plated. For our dinner in the train car, we took advantage of the grill that was outside and Thomas made us some incredible looking burgers using organic ground beef. Ooh. Very special. Fancy hot dog buns as <laughs> as the bread <laughs> but anyway they smell great and i'm so ready to eat oh yeah also this is the third night of this trip that we've had burgers we just <laughs> really like burgers if you can't tell this is our burger moon mm -hmm. i like the mushrooms and the onions good really good and the fresh tomato thank you for dinner appreciate it i appreciate you Love you, babe. Happy birthday. Thank you. What you doing? Well, since it's your birthday, I figured I'd draw you a nice bath. Give uh, you a little spa night. That sounds amazing. After a week of roughing it, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy a nice hot bath. When I take a bath, I like to really take advantage of it and soak it up. So I'm bringing in the chocolates that we got the other day at the chocolate factory and then also bringing in a book to read. I'm gonna pop the bottle of Prosecco that they left for me since my birthday's coming up this weekend. I'm gonna be 27 on Saturday. So this whole trip was kind of for my birthday and tonight was the big special night. Um, Samantha actually covered the cost for this Airbnb night. So that was really special of her. Nice. Here's to 27. Way to go, hon. Congrats. Cheers. To you, to 27. Refreshing. Now to sit down and enjoy it. It's Thursday night and usually on these days we would be back at our hometown watching The Bachelor with friends and we thought why not continue that tradition and watch The Bachelor here? <laughs> without friends. <laughs> without friends. And also 
I'm gonna get to enjoy my favorite jalapeno chips that we found at the grocery store. I cannot find them anywhere in Springfield, so I was ecstatic to find them here. The Cape Cod sweet and spicy jalapeno. So that has made this day just a little bit better and excited to enjoy the rest of our night. And I will be enjoying the chocolate that we got from the Chocolate Factory, which if you didn't see that episode was two, three, a few episodes ago. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of our evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Today's a big day for me, for my relationship to move forward with these women. It's a conversation I need to have. This is about to get intense. That's with my dad. Good night. I love you. All right, Thomas had the great idea of taking our leftover pizza, throwing it on the fire. A little wood-fired za. Yummy. <laughs> I should walk into Walmart like this sometime. Am I wearing my mask correctly? It's over my nose. <laughs> when I take a bath, I really like to take advantage of it, so. I'm bringing in some, <coughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna be my professional vlog shot. <laughs> What's good fam? Welcome to the channel. <laughs> I'm, I'm T Slimmy Slim Slim Shady. <laughs> And this is our Razzleberry. <laughs> Are we gonna wrap fries or something? No. Oh.